So, in the warm up, I already explained how you position your body for the Oriental dance, but in actually for every dance form. I know, because this is a sacred geometry of your body, and this is how the energy flows the best. So I will re-explain it here. You want to have the feet parallel. This is not like in ballet, classical dance, where you have the feet like this. Now, if you have done any ballet, please be sure your feet are like this. The knees in oriental dance are always a little bit bent, just flexible. So you have the freedom to move your hip. This is the reason why. And it is also in completely nice to protect your joints and your body. And the energy is different and the isolation is possible if the knees are bent. Then we come to the hip. The hip is this sacred vessel Imagine that if the hip was really a vessel and with liquid in it, do you want, and this is a sacred liquid, you don't want to spill it. So what you want to do is stand here and have the hip aligned like this. As I said, you don't want to have here a little uh, like this. You have to put the hip you can um, strengthen your and tighten your butt and feel the muscles here. Then the hip is in the right position, okay? This is the position of the hip, just feel it. Ground your feet, bend your knees, have the hip like this. So now what you want to do, you have the hip like, like this and you feel the muscles here, you feel in the back it is nearly completely straight. If you have never done this, go against the wall and make sure you don't have any, any uh, space here. You don't have any space. You are here against the wall, then it's right, okay? So, boom. Now you want to open up the solar plexus. Inhale. Yeah, and oh, feel it how it is. And now you go down with your shoulders. Let the shoulders go. Yeah, and then here you want to be a little bit up. And what you have, especially in Oriental dance, is this movement a little bit front here. The, your emotions are here. And when you go front, you get into this presence. And then you can take your hair and pull so your spine grows. Your whole spine grows like four centimeters, three centimeters, something like this. Have your spine like aligned and <laughs> pull a little bit here so you are up. You're completely up, 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 up. And then see how you feel. Yes, this is how you stand. This is how you walk. This is how you do every movement. You always, when you walk, you have this front and you walk like this, proud. Of course, when you are in the movement, then all this will shift a little bit, but the basis, this is the basis. Experience it. Practice, practice, practice. I am not here because we are online to every time tell you. But if you are in the dance class, then I see you, I can tell you. So just practice and be aware.